Hey, it's Paul with the IT company again. One of the things that I hear periodically from folks that I know and I hear from folks that are listening to other folks talk about making decisions around outsourcing their IT is how do I do that? There's a lot of people out there now, there's a lot of players in this market who are saying they do this. So how do I choose, how do I know I'm choosing somebody that's the right partner? So we have a few things that we tell people to think about to ask. First off is, it's the simple question, how long have you been in business? How many years have you been in business? But specifically, not only how many years have you been in business, but how many years have you been doing this? There's how many years have you been providing managed IT, outsourced IT services where you're taking over the management of IT for companies? And not only that, but what other things do you do and what percentage of your business is focused on this managed IT versus the other things? So if you've been a, traditionally a copier company, and now you're in managed IT, tell me about the experience that you have in doing that, how many customers, and what's the predominant model that you have. If you've been doing box shredding, or you've been uh, running a data center or something, but you've not been providing end user direct IT support, managed IT for companies, tell me how you're gonna support me, how many customers you have, the experience or credentials that you have um, in doing that. The next thing we tell them is ask them about the leadership, the leadership of the company, the ownership, who's in it, uh, what's the model. Um, I'd ask them about what their strategy is. Are you planning to sell this company? Are you planning to exit? There's a lot of companies that are, this market is hot, the space is hot, there's a lot of uh, mergers and acquisition. So are you a company that's gonna grow it for the next five years and sell it? Typically companies that are scaling really fast, taking on a lot of customers, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get as much revenue as they can so they can basically flip the company when it's over. Uh, which goes to how many customers do you take on annually? We've talked about ourselves, no more than 12 to 16. Somebody's taking a lot of customers, any customer uh, that comes to their door in any way they want it, um, that would, that's a concern. You need to really listen and understand how they're, not only how many customers they take on, but what's that process of evaluating customers? Do they standardize? Will they take anybody? Will they take anybody's systems on no matter what they have? Um, hiring, how do you do hiring? Uh, it's a really critical question. T I would ask somebody, tell me how you hire people. How many interviews? What type of testing do you do? What type of technical testing do you do? What type of training do you do? How do you uh, onboard an employee? How long do they train before they're actually turned over onto the team? Do you hire uh, entry level people, interns, people that are directly out of school, or do you only hire experienced people? Ask those really important questions. And then the last thing I would wanna know, uh, there's, a, there's a few other things, but most importantly, the, the last thing I wanna know is tell me how you're gonna onboard me, tell me how you're gonna support me, and how you're gonna manage it. How, are you, how often are you gonna meet with me? What are you gonna talk about when we meet? What, do we, what should I expect? Tell me the onboarding process, if I buy from you, how long does it take, what do you do, how do you standardize, do you standardize? Um, and then how do you support me? How am I gonna get support? What does that look like? What type of service level agreement exists? Uh, what does that look like as I become a customer of yours? How does that work? So these are critical questions to ask. There's other ones. Um, certifications are important. Uh, what type of external assessments do they have? Do they get a SOC 2? Are they high trust certified? ISO, uh, what's their operating operational maturity level? There's some certifications out there that you might want to ask about. But those first questions, how long have you been in business and how many customers are in this space that you take care of? Uh, tell me about your leadership team, your owners, kind of your business strategy, where you're heading. Um, tell me about the number of customers you take on annually and uh, what does that look like? How do you onboard them? How uh, many of those customers are in the managed services space? What's the current business model? If you've been in another business and you're shifting, what's the demographic mix between those two different types of uh, uh, standard or two, two different types of customers? And then hiring, how do you do hiring? And then of course, finally, how do you bring a customer on? How would you bring me on? Tell me how you'd support me, all that stuff. Really important questions. Uh, we actually have a guide that you can use, um, that you can download to ask some of those questions and even evaluate a, a company that you're, or multiple companies that you're looking at.